in your brushes dialog there's a uh, a capsicum I think it might be uh, image or and as a brush so you can make your own brush by uh, using a photograph now I've got a photograph of a flower and I'm going to make a brush out of this flower very similar to the uh, the photograph type of brush that is in the uh, brush dialog I choose the foreground select tool which makes it a little bit easier and I move around here with the and just give it some indication on what area I want to to capture and uh, just you've got to be you don't have to be a hundred percent but you just got to give it some guide and the foreground selection tool is very powerful uh, not, not very often used once you come back to your start point you let the mouse button go now I have a blue mask and and also your brush has been selected now it's the colour is black there's no need to worry about the colour because you only have to indicate what colours you want the uh, foreground selection tool to select so in this case I'm going to select those types of tones there around here also a little bit of the green around this way and also the green and the bud colours because they're a little bit different there's a shading in there there's also a bit of a shading in there so it gives the uh, the software an indication now once you let the mouse button go it, the calculations go through and work out the colours that you want to choose and the surrounding area now it's finalised now I press enter to make the selection and takes away the the blue uh, mask I'm going to scale it up to the links are joined so that one's about a 120 and that one's 115 now there's the scaled I just hit scale and now it's the scale you can see the little tiny scale in there now it's still selected so I go to edit and ask it to copy now I've copied that little tiny uh, section just there now I'm finished with this part of the uh, building the brush I close that off we don't save I return to edit and I paste and there's my brush it already has the transparency around there now all I need to do now is save it as a brush file go to save as and of course the we need to uh, choose the GIMP folder brushes and in there we just type in flower GBR which is the brush and then we save it and save the spacing's a 10 and that's the job done we close that one off now we just open a new image or a template and hit OK that's OK now there's our new brush we just made over there click on there get the brush tool and there we go there's your new brush quite easily made from a photograph now you only need to, to shrink it down to that size and of course you can change the sizes by making it smaller I like to use the bracket keys you can see what's going happening on the screen and that's your uh, your brush you made it a simple brush so subscribe and rate the video